What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the updated anime dimensions tier list for the new Jujutsu Kaisen update. We just got two new characters, Baku Bro and Sasuke. But basically we're gonna be starting off with uh, Tanjiro, probably gonna put him in A tier. We'll actually be able to get him for free because he's there in the daily rewards which is pretty cool. He is a decent character overall, definitely not meta, but pretty solid and he costs 500 gems. Uh, then we have Zenitsu who is going to be in S tier. He is basically kind of like meta, but he's going to be at the bottom S tier. Uh, he's only good for like pros because uh, he basically has some really really close ranged attacks which is not really good if you want to conserve your HP. Um, then next we're gonna have Todoroki who I'm going to put higher up on S than Zenitsu. Uh, I personally like using Todoroki because his range especially on his final move is really good. He's got some burn damage which is still damage. I mean it's not insane but it's still damage. So overall pretty decent to get 1600 gems but still he's not the best. There are better characters that you can get. Uh, next we have Rimuru who's going to be another S tier. Basically, she's just really, uh, he is just really good overall. Um, I mean, the final one is like full AoE, really good damage. So still pretty solid even with the new update. Megumin, I personally did not like using her. So I'm going to put her in A tier. Uh, I consider her the worst uh, 1600 gem character and I would not really recommend for you to waste your gems on this character. Uh, Gojo is going to be another S tier, uh, slightly above Todoroki probably. Uh, he's just really really good for just running away from the enemies and trying to kill them. Uh, Baku Bro uh, is our new character who is definitely not disappointing. Possibly one of the best characters but I'm not sure. I mean I personally really like this character. It's just a combination of good range, good damage, good everything. So I really really like this character. Uh, Saber is probably going to be another S tier, probably going to be right there. Uh, she's basically sort of like meta for boss killing. Uh, though I don't know if Bakugo is even better than her for that. So uh, like, but still she's really good for that. Our last new character, we only had two which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, Sasuke is probably going to be I don't know if he's better than Tanjiro. I actually like using him better than Tanjiro to be honest. But guys, if you ha are like an intermediate player and are wondering if you should get Sasuke, let me just outline the pros and cons. Pros, well, a lot of his moves are sort of like full AoE, which is really good, really solid damage. But the con, nearly every move of his is going to be damage over time. Only his first move does not even do that much damage but that's going to be like burst DPS. But like Amaterasu, the fireball, the, the everything, all of his moves, including his ultimate move, is going to be damage over time, which is not really the best because, uh, I mean, against bosses, it's pretty OP, but when you are trying to clear the waves, you need to, like, if you want to kill them, you're gonna have to stay really close because it's only damage over time and it's just hard to get your full DPS in. So just a quick warning to those that want to get Sasuke, but other than that, he's actually really, really good. Uh, not so probably a B tier, uh, not really the best, but not bad either. I personally like Kelua a little bit more, so I'm going to put him also B tier. Itadori probably going to be another B tier, uh, not really the best, but not too bad either. Uh, same for um, Asta. Uh, now, I personally like Akaza a lot more than all of them, which is why I'm going to put Akaza at bottom 8 tier. The main reason why I like Akaza so much more than all of the other 300 gem characters is mainly because of his ultimate move, Compass. It, one, it's going to have those iframes throughout. Like, another problem with Sasuke is that when you are charging up your moves, you get iframes on his ultimate move. But when you're actually trying to get the damage over time, he loses his iframes, which is really a sort of put down for this character. Uh, it just, I mean, you can run away, but still, it's not really that great that you lose your iframes midway. Uh, then we have, yeah, Akasa is going to be there because his compass basically removes all of his cooldowns and buffs him, which is amazing. 
uh, then Sakura probably going to be another like probably right there in B tier. She does have healing uh, granted but still her heal is really not the best to be honest. You know we're probably the worst 200 gem character because like the range is just really short, damage is not really that good and the heal is kinda negligible. Uh, Naruto is going to be the best starter unit to get if I am to be completely honest with you because like a lot of his moves actually have really solid damage which definitely makes him better than the other characters which is why yeah he's going to be a solid C tier and then finally we have uh, Ichigo who I'm going to put in D tier I do not really like using Ichigo um, same for Goku I don't like using Goku uh, Luffy is probably the worst character in the game and Deku is probably going to be another D tier so yeah that is basically the updated tier list so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video see ya